guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2 and today I'll be making a design team card for Tupelo Designs LLC and I'll be using a lot of the products that are in the 50% off section. So I'll be using this Prima stamp set. These Prima stamp sets are very affordable anyways but uh, they are um, on the 50% off clearance section so you might want to go check that out so this right here is part of the bag uh, when you place your order uh, Mike wraps all of um, your orders and things in this adorable um, bag and I love these and I save all of them but you can also purchase them separately which um, I purchased the six by nine I believe so it's this size that I showed you, 9 by 12, I'm not sure, but it's one of the larger ones. So this is uh, some of the products I'll be using today. I'm not quite sure uh, which card, card uh, base that I'm going to use, but I'll be using this stamp set. Uh, that's in this set along with the perfume bottle. I just love this uh, paint brushes. It gives really like a unique like antique look. So I'm going to be using uh, the Vintage Photo Distress Ink uh, because I want it to kind of make it look a more distressed type of a stamping. Uh, distress inks do not stamp out clearly. That is not one of their properties. So um, if you're looking for a crisp impression, then this is not the ink to use. But I am using the vintage photo and I kind of test it out on the piece of paper. And I'm going to kind of um, place it at the bottom right there. And then I'm going to stamp it again. So uh, Tupelo Design has this 50% off section and they constantly add items to that section. So you might want to uh, check it out frequently. You can get really good deals. Like I was saying, these uh, Prima stamps are uh, inexpensive anyways, but 50% uh, off off of that. So that's uh, quite a, a steal of a bargain. So I'm just going to trim this down to the size of my um, card panel. So I'm making kind of like a vintage card today. And then now I'm going to tear it. So this uh, craft cardstock, along with that dark brown cardstock, um, is from my stash. And then I'm also going to be tearing the bag as well. So it's going to be like that. I'm debating whether to use the uh, brown, uh, the dark brown cardstock for the um back or to if I want to use the um the ivory cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh distress this part as well. And as I'm distre distressing it I'm kind of pushing the ends in a little bit so that it kind of curls and I like that. So these bags were great because um they're already like vintage looking anyway, so if you want to like use it um, as uh, for your art journals and things instead of uh, tissue paper would be great, which I want to try to do. So again, I'm distressing this part, the craft card stock, and it, the ink matches perfectly to the um, brushes. So again, I'm kind of still debating if I want the brown. Here, I'm trimming off um, the ends here and distressing it. Yep, 
and I decide that it's kind of too dark so then uh, I, ch I go ahead and um, use the ivory cardstock instead because the um, the paper and the uh, craft cardstock is kind of on the darker side I didn't want the entire card to look too dark so I'm distressing this part as well this is also a textured ivory cardstock so um, you can kind of see that texture uh, when I distress the um, edges and I decide that I want to um, go ahead and um, color my image so I already stamped uh, this perfume bottle out and I also stamped that word Paris that's from another one of the small sets and these don't have names on them so I'll definitely be linking it to the bottom uh, of the descriptions and um, hopefully uh, these won't be sold out if you are interested in it so for the coloring of the perfume bottle I decided to use this 13 arts uh, paints these are also in the clearance section these are excellent quality uh, paints and um, I have uh, like a few of them that I tried and I really love them the card the color that I'm using here this is gold so it has a very uh, iridescent um, look to it the shimmer you won't really be able to see it as much on camera but it's very shimmery so I'm just adding some color with it and this right here is the manila cardstock it's from uh, Ranger so I'm trying to kind of show you the shimmer there they also have the sprays as well and they're all 50% off it's a great deal so now I am fussy cutting out my perfume bottle but before that I kind of want to um, darken up the cap of the perfume bottle and I'm going to fussy cut it out right to the uh, black lines I'm not the best uh, fussy cutter and I tend to bring it really close to me so sorry about that And then um, I really like that look. I'm also going to distress the perfume bottle as well using the same vintage photo. You can go ahead and run the edges um, with the black ink if you like. And here I have this olive green uh, marker. This is Stampin' Ups, but you can use any marker. But I'm just adding some green here and there just to uh, give a different shade of color. So it looks really vintage. I really like that. I'm also going to cut out the sentiment that says Paris. And I think it goes great with this uh, perfume bottle and the brushes. So again, this was the Manila cardstock. And now I'm going to add everything and put things together. So I'm using uh, my Tombow Mono Multi Glue. This is my favorite glue. I always say that when I use it. I either use the Mono or my ATG. And I'm also going to um, 
attach this part as well. And then after, I'll be kind of um, folding up the edges of that. Just to uh, give more dimension. And again, I'm um, distressing the entire um, piece here. And then I have an A2 size um, card base here that I'm using uh, this Martha Stewart scoring board and the bone folder. And then I decide that I want to round the corners. Before that, I will uh, put some color to the white cardstock using the vintage photo, but I don't want to cover up the entire white. So I just want the edges. So I'm using the uh, half inch crapo dial to round the corners. I'm going to attach that using my ATG. And then put that right on top. I really like the way it turned out. And I'll be attaching um, the perfume bottle in Paris. So I'm putting some glue right at, over here at the end. And I'm going to attach it. Try to uh, center it as best as I can. And I'm going to put some foam adhesive on that piece. And basically, uh, this finishes up my card for today. So go ahead and uh, check out that 50% off section. There's, there's a lot of great products there. Uh, you can get it for a really good price. So um, I check it all the time. So there, there finishes. So I'll put all the um, links below for all the supplies that I use on this card. And uh, you don't see it here, but after I use my white signal gel pen to kind of highlight the word Paris, I just put a little bit of lines here and there. You'll be able to see it uh, in the picture. But here it is, it's really shimmery and pretty. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.